Hey, so a couple weeks ago, we were talking a lot about some rumors, reports, and other things that were kind of floating out there uh, about the Zelda 35th anniversary. In fact, we did an entire podcast dedicated to the 35th anniversary because Zelda means that much to me. I could literally talk about Zelda all day, every day. But there's a lot of other things that interest me, so why not kind of spread the wealth around and give other things some attention? Now, look... I don't know exactly what is coming for the Zelda 35th anniversary. Have I heard some murmurings? Have I read the reports and the rumors? Do I have an inkling of what's to come? Yes, and this video is actually going to talk, ex like basically break down what we've gotten in prior, yes, prior Zelda anniversaries, what we got most recently in the Mario 35th anniversary, and how this sets us up based on the other rumors and reports and real expectations for what Nintendo is going to deliver for the Zelda 35th anniversary and when are they going to deliver the goods, even though some of the goods already began with Skyward Sword HD. Now, I'm giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise and two $20 Nintendo Switch, Xbox, or PlayStation gift cards. I've talked about this in every video, but you know what? I'm deciding right now I'm going to sweeten that pot. We're going to toss in an additional $100 or $99 in the case of Nintendo Switch gift card in there for either eShop for PlayStation Network or Xbox. So if you guys are interested in that, that's massive prize giveaways happening down below. Uh, go check out the description of the pinned comment. Going to be updating it with those prizes today. If you've already entered before, don't worry. You're still entered, although there might be additional entries you could get now. All right, let's get into this stuff here. So uh, here's what we know happened for the Zelda 25th anniversary. So first off, they did release Ocarina of Time 3D. They did release Skyward Sword as a brand new game back then. They added Link's Awakening to the Virtual Console on 3DS. They added Four Swords as a free download back on the DSi. They released a Wii Gold remote. They did a Zelda concert tour, remember Symphony of the Goddess. Uh, they did Ocarina of Time soundtrack th uh, CD through Club Nintendo. They released Hyrule Historia. So that was a really important game for any historians that care about Zelda lore. And then they announced most of this, although Ocarina of Time 3D was already previously announced, at E3 on June 11th in 2011. So they did make this announcement after, you know, after the actual February anniversary. So it's just, just important to note about that, that there's a pattern here. Nintendo did not announce this on the actual anniversary. For the 30th anniversary of Zelda, they dedicated E3 entirely to Breath of the Wild and made brief mentions of the anniversary, but this wasn't really the anniversary blowout. But E3 2016, which was the 30th anniversary, was entirely about Breath of the Wild. Uh, they released Art and Artifacts in Japan, later renamed to Hyrule Graphics when it came to the West and released on February 21st, 2017, a.k.a. the 31st anniversary, technically. Uh, added Skyward Sword to Wii U Virtual Console on September 1st. Released a Zelda Music Collection on September 28th in Japan only. They did more concerts, more Symphony of the Goddess, specifically in Japan. They added a 3DS menu theme. They did an 8-bit Link Amiibo, plus other Amiibo like Toon Link and Link from Ocarina of Time. They released the Hyrule Encyclopedia, which included an updated timeline. They also had Breath of the Wild Masterworks come out, and technically, by the end of that given fiscal year, they did release Breath of the Wild. They announced all of this on September 1st, except for obviously the stuff that happened at E3. So again, announced later in the year, but they didn't do it on the actual anniversary of Zelda. All right, let's get to Mario's 35th. This should be really fresh in people's minds because we're just wrapping up that this year or this month. So Mario 35, they released Paper Mario, Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, Mario Bros. 35, and Mario 3D All-Stars. They also released Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. They released a Game & Watch uh, edition that had Mario theme to it. They released more Mario Lego sets. They did Cat Mario and Cat Peach Amiibo. They released a Mario Red Switch. They did uh, Super Mario All-Stars itself was added to the SNES app. Obviously, before I mentioned, they did 3D All-Stars as well as a separate release. Uh, they did Mario 64 Basketball Shoes, because that's the thing I would have loved as a kid. Uh, Splatoon 2. 
They did a Splatoon 2 themed Splatfest for Mario, Animal Crossing Mario items, tons of stickers, keychain shirts, hats, so much merch it's impossible to even get into it all, but there was a lot of Mario 35th merch. Partnership with Cold Stone Creamery for a Super Mario Birthday Cake Batter Bash, Mario themed Jenga, Jack's It's a Me action figure, pins for Club Nintendo members, I mean my Nintendo members, really interesting they're adding physical items back into there. Uh, so yeah, that is what they factually did for Mario's 35th anniversary. That's a lot of stuff. There's a lot more merch and, and, and little side things like that I didn't get into because, there, I mean, honestly, the, the list for Mario's 35th anniversary is like so long it would go way off the screen. It's, it's huge. So let's talk about now about Zelda's 35th anniversary because, again, a, 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 an anniversary date came by that wasn't that didn't have an announcement. Technically, Mario's 35th anniversary also went by without Nintendo talking about anything. So, to be clear, there is a kind of a pattern here where Nintendo doesn't talk about the anniversaries until they get to a date that they're ready to announce everything. That doesn't mean certain announcements won't come ahead of time. Paper Mario for the 35th anniversary, Ocarina of Time uh, 3D for the 25th anniversary of Zelda was announced before the anniversary. So, having Skyward Sword HD and the Skyward Sword Joy-Con already announced really doesn't deter them from having the 35th anniversary of Zelda. In fact, it doesn't even mean they need to wait till those games come out to talk about the 35th anniversary of Zelda. Ocarina of Time 3D was a massive port at the time to help push 3DS sales, and they still dropped all the news for the 35th, or, I'm sorry, the 25th anniversary of Zelda at E3 before that game came out. So Skyward Sword comes out July 16th, if Nintendo's at E3, that seems to be a good timing for them to drop that news. So sometime this summer, I think for either June, July, or August, Nintendo's going to drop a 35th anniversary news dump on us for Zelda. I think they're planning for E3 if they're going to participate in the digital event. So if we find out that Nintendo is participating in the E3 planned digital event, yes, there's going to be a ton of Zelda goodness there. That's what I expect anyways, at least right now for timetables. All right, so we know we're getting Skyward Sword, right? We know we're getting the Joy-Cons. So what else could we expect? Well, Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD coming over has been put out there by some other people and I think is a pretty obvious as a simple, easy-to-do ports of Wii U games. Now, here's the thing. I think, unlike Skyward Sword HD that's going to be released on its own, these games have already been released in HD once. There's not really going to be much differences coming over here except minus the gamepad for the inventory maybe minus the first person mode in the Wind Waker HD. We'll have to see. But I think they're going to package these together for 60 bucks. I think it's going to be a twin $60 pack. So this, you know, you could argue this is their 3D All-Stars sort of a thing. But here's the thing. Remember they did two All-Star things? I think they're going to be another combo pack. This time, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time 3D in HD. I think they're going to HDify those games. I think that's what Grezzo's been working on. And they're going to release a twin pack of that as well for $60. And obviously, they will get these, these, these you know, releases spaced out. Skyward Sword, a couple months the next one, a couple months the next one. And they're going to go all the way through March of next year. I also think they're going to release, at least by March 31st of 2022, Breath of the Wild 2. So that's kind of their big game slate there. So... You know, a, a port combo pack, another HDified port combo pack, Skyward Sword HD on its own since it's never been re-released, at least, you know, in this form. And then, obviously, da -da 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 -da, Breath of the Wild 2. Now, there is more that I expect beyond all that because, as you know, with Mario 35th, they went all out. And the reason I think they're going to go all out with Zelda 2 is Zelda's more popular than it's ever been and Nintendo likes money. Right? I think we'd all agree. Nintendo likes money. So, there's going to be a themed console of some type, maybe, or at least more themed Joy-Cons around Breath of the Wild. I expect that to come out, maybe not this holiday, and obviously Switch Pro could end up having something to say about all of this, but I expect a themed something sort of Switch, or something sort of Switch Joy-Cons in addition to the Skyward Sword ones, coming out by the end of March 31st of 2022. So, there might even be a post-holiday release for that to help keep Switch sales soaring. Uh, just like they did with the Mario Red Edition Switch. Uh, I think, let's see here. I got a whole list of stuff here. So uh, something music related is going to happen because they've done something music related at all of the Zelda anniversaries. I don't think there's going to be any concerts, although they could do like Pokemon 25 did like that 
that digital concert thing. That could be something they look into a, a digital concert. I think it's more likely that they just do a music collection that you can get through Club Nintendo or something like that. Uh, so taking like the best of Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, old school Zelda, kind of doing like a giant 50 song um, disc or something that you're able to get, or even a digital code or whatever through Club Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo does like doing books for Zelda's anniversary, so some sort of new book based on Breath of the Wild 2, just like they did for Breath of the Wild. I think that's to be expected. Uh, here's one that we haven't really talked much about, Zelda Lego. So the wall has been torn down because of the 35th anniversary of Mario, because of the really well-selling Mario Lego sets. It's very clear the wall is down between LEGO and Nintendo, opening up all their franchises to LEGO in some way. Now, I know they wanted to do something unique with Mario, and maybe they find something unique to do with Zelda. But honestly, just being able to have Zelda LEGO sets at all would be huge. I think that is something we are going to get. I think it's leaving money on the table not to have it now that they have a partnership. So, yeah, I expect Zelda LEGO. We're obviously going to get themed content in Animal Crossing, maybe even in Splatoon 2. So uh, that's something to look forward to there. We're going to get a bunch of merch, shoes, watches, hats, shirts. There's going to be a ton of merchandise to talk about. Uh, not all of it will be revealed at their 35th anniversary event. A lot of it will be spread out throughout the year for individual companies. Um, let's see here. Uh, something for Switch Online. I don't know what it what it's going to be. I, 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 we, we've talked before about a potential Zelda 35, like the Mario 35, well, I mean, it could it could be a dungeon maker, like a, a simple like taking the dungeon maker from Link's Awakening that they did in 2019 and expanding upon it and giving us something concrete there. Now, these are just my thoughts on what I expect for the Zelda 35th anniversary, based on rumors, reports, and other anniversaries in the past. Uh, I'm, I'm actually wondering, like, what do you guys want for the Zelda 35th anniversary? We haven't talked about it in a couple weeks, so I figured, you know what, we're gonna keep bringing it up here and then because. This is the 35th anniversary of Zelda, and Zelda means a lot to me. A lot to me. I mean, I got shelves and action figures and, 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 and theme systems. Uh, the, the, I got the dang theme 2DS, the Ocarina of Time 2DS, for crying out loud. Like, I'm, I, I love Zelda. So I'm going to keep talking about it uh, until we finally get to official announcements, and then I'll probably gush and, and applaud Nintendo for their efforts. I did the same thing for Mario 35 last year, too, by the way. I really praised Nintendo for what they were doing uh, for the 35th anniversary. I think they're going to go just as big this time around. Remember, we got a lot of Mario games. Relatively, in a short time, we got a lot of Mario games. Technically, you can argue it doesn't end because we have Mario Tennis, but I think that's just a normal standard release for them. So, anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I, I know some people maybe were hoping I was going to say something about some more classic games coming back. You know, Zelda 2, The uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. It's possible they do some sort of collection pack like that, uh, but I just, I, I think with everything else that they're possibly doing, there just wasn't time. But that's just me. You let me know what you think about down in the comments below, what collections you want to see, what games you want to see brought back re-emphasize do you think breath of the wild 2 is coming do you think switch pro is going to have anything to do do you think switch pro is even real let alone does it have anything to do uh with what's happening here so i love you guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch each and every one of you guys in the next video